We've asked Lonnie to demonstrate the burning of a towel under two different conditions. Isopropanol, pure, and isopropanol water mixture. So first, isopropanol. He'll prepare some isopropanol in a beaker and a towel which he'll saturate with isopropanol that will burn. Now, the flash point of the paper that Lonnie's going to burn is over 500 degrees Celsius. So if that begins to burn, that means the flame is hotter than around 500 degrees Celsius. So he'll soak this piece of towel in the isopropanol and he'll ignite it with the torch in front of him. Let's see how hot the isopropanol only towel burns. He can hold it with a pair of tongs, keep it away from his body, and ignite it in his torch. Isopropanol is a flammable liquid, and you can see he has to hold that fairly far away from him. That's a hot flame, and you can see it's going to burn the towel. So the temperature of that flame, clearly well above 500 degrees, the flash point of the paper, completely consuming that paper towel. Now what would happen if we added water to that isopropanol? An isopropanol water mixture, will that burn? Well, let's do the experiment. Here's Lonnie going to make a 50-50 mixture approximately of isopropanol water and burn that in a saturated towel. So he has half his towel left over, puts that in his isopropanol water mixture, and let's ignite that with a torch. Now we should see, will this towel reach 500 degrees and combust. Well, you can see already Lonnie can hold this one very close to himself. It turns out that's not a very hot flame. And it's not a hot flame because the water is actually evaporating and it takes about 40 kilojoules per mole to evaporate water. That carries heat away from the flame. And you can see Lonnie can handle the towel right after the flame goes out. It's hardly been warmed at all. So isopropanol water burns much cooler than isopropanol.